Hello, dear empath, highly sensitive person. Welcome to another coaching video here with me. Um, this topic, um, this video is about the topic of the power of walking away. This is a very, very, very important thing that I think we all need to comprehend in our lives, especially as, you know, as a sensitive being. As sensitive beings, we need to be able to manage our lives, our feelings, our emotions, and to be able to stay true to ourselves just to really discover who we are and what we are here to do in this world, in this lifetime. So relationships can be a big factor in our lives and therefore the mindset regarding relationships is also very important. So if you are dealing with a narcissistic person in your life, a toxic person in your life you are definitely at the right place if you're watching this video now and you're looking for answers you're looking for a way out you want to discover your power again and possibly you know you want to get to know yourself again and you know build yourself up again after everything that you've been through, you want to improve your life, you want to heal your life. And I hope that you can remember that you are always enough, you're always lovable, you're always loved and supported, and you deserve the best in life. And so it is good that you're watching this video if you're thinking about walking away from a toxic person who is not good for you. Because that is a big sign that your intuition has been telling you and the universe has been guiding you to move forward with your life because, you know, there is not a reason why you should stay stuck with a toxic person in your life, why you should be putting up with emotional abuse in your life. If you're dealing with disrespect, you still have the power to walk away. And you can choose not to let it get to you. I know how difficult it can be sometimes. It can feel so difficult when you really feel uh, very much stuck. I have gone through that in my life lots of times. And so I want to be guiding you forward as well for that reason. And I just want you to know that there is always a way out. You don't need to be staying stuck where you don't belong, you know, with a person who is toxic. And... Well, really, there is no more time to waste. And <clears throat> if you're wondering about, like, should you do this or that, please know that I'm here for you. So you can always book your own free consultation call with me. I will listen to you. I will chat with you about your situation and tell you honestly what I think that you should do. And then we can discuss my services also if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. But yeah, so the power of moving on, of walking away from a person, especially from a toxic person, you know, not everyone does that, even though they should, but they end up wasting years of their lives staying stuck with a toxic person, tolerating disrespect. One of those people was my grandmother who just died last year and I just miss her so much. And um, she is just one of uh, the factors why I keep thinking about this topic 
because I have gone through this in my own family with my own relatives because my father my father was a schizophrenic and my mother is a narcissist and my grandfather was also a narcissist and therefore there have there has been a lot of a lot of emotional abuse in my childhood in my family lots of mental health issues and it has seemed like seems like i'm the only one talking about these things and so i have had to be reflecting on them also <laughs> very 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 much to be able to stay sane myself and to be really healed you know from everything that i have experienced and seen and gone through and tolerated but yeah so it is it is so important to understand that we all possess that power to walk away you have that power to walk away and i wish that i had known this when i was in that situation when i was really stuck with my abusive boyfriends for example the situations have been so difficult and i have i was so depressed and felt so hopeless felt so desperate you know very much hurt and you know what i've been through is a key key factor why i want to guide you now so if you start to walk away if, if you start to take time to yourself you know you, you start to stay away from this person for example you block them you, you have a conversation for example on social media for example and you end up blocking them that is one way to start doing this. So you can just take small steps. It does not have to be anything big, you know, just as long as you are drawing your boundaries, you're being true to yourself, you're realizing that you have your own worth and you have your own opinions and rights and feelings and emotions and everything because you are a whole being you are a whole human being so they have no right to treat you wrong and like i said what you can do if you want to start this process of walking away from them what you can do is just you can block them and just try to stay no contact because when you start to be no contact you are starting to take your own power back in that process you are starting to take care of yourself in that process you are learning how to love yourself again in that process and at the same time, you're getting more in touch with your own authentic, beautiful self and healing your whole life in that process. The more you can just stay away from what is negative, what is toxic. Because, you know, let's face it, they don't do anything else but let you down. They don't do anything else but drain you out, hurt you take advantage of you maybe you can write a list about things that they have done maybe that would help you for example if it helps you gain clarity so that you can really see the situation how it is how they have acted towards you and that you don't deserve it that there are actually people out there who actually value you and you don't have to be 
pretending to be anything else. You can just fully and authentically and honestly just be yourself. And that is so beautiful when you just have those people in your life, when you attract those people into your life. Naturally, a toxic person is blocking you from all of the blessings that actually belong to you. So if you are staying in contact with a toxic person or people, they are naturally lowering your own vibration, affecting your aura, affecting your chakras, affecting your health, affecting everything that you are, everything that you feel and represent. And therefore, they're also bringing you down in every way, energetically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, maybe even financially, you know, because everything is connected. And, you know, the more you end up doing things for them and they just take and take and take, you know, it's not a healthy situation. It's not a good situation at, at all because it's, it's just taking advantage of you and your kindness, your, your open heart, everything that you are, everything that you have given to them. So please stop doing that now. And I want you to understand that there is so much power in walking away, in blocking them, staying away, staying no contact, being no contact. And, you know, just saying to yourself, you know what? I deserve a lot better. I know my worth. I know who I am. I don't need this. I don't deserve this. I am walking away. I am blocking you. I'm staying away. I'm staying no contact. I don't care anymore. And that is a powerful moment when you can really just say that to yourself. Say it out loud or in your mind, whatever feels good to you. Maybe write it down on a mission statement, for example. Whatever feels good to you. But that moment will set you free when you can really just see it from this angle, you know, see it from this point of view and just, you know, own your worth. And you're like, wow, I'm the most powerful person in the world. I can actually cut this person off and everyone who gets in my way, in, in my way and in the way of my own happiness, in the way of my own self-worth, everything that I am, because I deserve a lot better than this. I don't need to put up with this. Nobody deserves disrespect. And people should not be bleeding on those people who have cared about them. People should take accountability, responsibility of their own lives, of their own choices of everything that they do and not blame others and not treat sensitive, kind people wrong. And these are just facts, how it is. And it is your responsibility to take care of yourself. So why waste another moment, another second of your life with a wrong person, interacting with a wrong person who will not respect you, who will not hear you out, who only takes advantage of you. So I really wish that somebody would have been telling me these things when I was in these situations. But I hope that I can help you now as you're watching this video that I'm giving you food of thought, that I'm giving you guidance and, and coaching honestly and authentically with everything that I've been through and seen and experienced. There is power in you, in you taking your power back, in you walking away permanently. 
and you don't need to do anything else but basically just decide decide that you will do it now that you deserve better so if you don't know already you will really find out that you are becoming so empowered if you do this the more you can just stay away from them walk away from them never let them come back into your life again you will really transform your life will transform especially if you have been through a lot of emotional abuse in your life you will be like a completely new person and you will be so satisfied and happy with yourself that you know that you will never want to go back again and you will have better boundaries you will get to know yourself a lot better once time passes and you will know better who is good for you and who is not so take some kind of action today regarding this if you are having this situation that you are still dealing with an ex or whoever it is that is causing you turmoil that is causing you sleepless nights anxiety you know anything like this because you know it's, it's just not a way to live under that influence your health is at stake your your whole life is at stake if you are having this just go on and on and on and on so <laughs> i hope that i have helped you today with this video know that there is so much power in just walking away just having your boundaries just listening to yourself your intuition your angels are telling you don't deal with that toxic person the universe is guiding you forward if you pay attention you will really receive all of that love and support that is around you your spirit guides are telling you you know god is telling you that that is not the way to go to be dealing with that person so um i think i might end my video today here thank you so much for watching for subscribing liking this video sharing it if you feel that you have people in your life who also need this message um don't hesitate to get in, get in touch with me as always i am free for new clients <laughs> so if you would be interested in a reading or an angel healing session with me a private one-on-one -on -one coaching session or you want to join my coaching program all the links are below as always um don't hesitate to get in touch and uh, so much love and light to your day. Thank you. Namaste.